regarding the ballistic missile defenses, I, as I mentioned to you in one of the earlier questions, it is a tussle between a weapon and a, and a defense against that weapon. Okay. I, initially, the tanks were invented. The moment tanks become impenetrable by normal small arms weapons and things like that, you find an anti-tank weapon coming up. When the anti-tank weapon came up, then the armor started reinforcing itself so that it can defeat that system. So, you find this, this system and the anti-system or a defensive against that system is a tussle that keeps going on all over, all the time. So, in the, in, in the, in the, in the domain of de missiles, what happens is, initially when the missiles were there, you find the rockets which could project the war warhead to the target and then initially then they could just transfer them and drop them onto a particular place and it created the damage. The problem that came up was if the ranges started increasing of these missiles, you wanted accuracy. So, you found you know inertial guided missiles, you find navigational guided missiles, whole lot of other things that have come into to bring in more accuracy. Now, what has happened because of this? You find a projectile which can travel, travel at a very fast pace, come and attack you at a particular place with more accuracy. That is what you got. Now, the problem is how to defend against it. Now, when you want to defend against it, what happens is you need to actually understand where the missile is getting launched from, what is the trajectory that it is going to take and where can I intercept it so that I do not get affected by that particular missile attacking me. So, what I did, I need to have a recon reconnaissance system which can tell me when the missile is getting launched and correspondingly I launch another missile which could intercept it mid-air so that I do not get affected by the missile of the enemy. This is the ballistic missile defense system. Now, to defeat that what has happened, the, when you launch a missile, instead of launching one warhead, you launch many warheads within that missile. So, then what happens is you need to improve the ballistic missile defense system to fire a number of projectiles to actually meet all of them in, in mid-air and destroy them so that you do not get affected by it. So, the issue that comes up is very simple that if there is a missile, I need to defend against it and so therefore, I need a ballistic missile defense system. And if I have to have the ballistic missile system for a particular missile, if that missile's capabilities change, the ballistic missile defense capability also has to change. So, that is why you find it is a tussle between missile and ballistic missile defensive system that will continue to happen. So, therefore, like for example, you will find Patriots, Patriot missiles, you will find other missiles like Iron Dome, etc., which are actually good defense against the missile systems. Basic thing is how quickly you can detect the launch of a missile, how quickly you can launch your missile to actually uh, defeat it and how far away from your position that you want to destroy that missile. That is the, that is the matrix that needs to be worked out. So, this is a, again a constantly evolving, evolving kind of a technique and technology and I am sure this will, we will see, continue to see the development of this technology and the counter missile technology together going on I am sure forever.